this is what a bunion really is. It is actually an angle between your big toe and your second toe. So as you can see, the larger your inner metatarsal angle, the bigger the bunion it appears. It's not actually any extra bone growth. It's just a deviation of the bone and a buckling of the first metatarsal joint. If you actually do have arthritis like this person, this is something completely different. This is not a bunion. This is something called hallux rigidus and is just arthritis. You can use pads, but they don't really fix the problem. They will cushion it. You can use splints, but same type of thing. They protect, but they will never really fix it. And this is many, many studies that show this. So here's the outcomes of bunion surgery. Whether it's minimally invasive surgery or a reconstructive surgery, I'll show you exactly what's going on. But these are the types of corrections you can expect to achieve getting rid of the bump. For some people, it may take a bigger surgery to get there. That's the main difference. So sometimes a large bunion like this may require a surgery that takes six weeks of protected weight bearing in a boot, whereas something smaller like this, you could be back in a pair of shoes within 10 days. So for the smaller surgeries, you just need a couple pins right here and one bone cut. Whereas for a bigger surgery, you have to fix numerous joints, as you can see. So there's other options where you can even lock up the joints, fix the fifth toe bunion as well, fix the second toe. So sometimes you have to do a lot more than just fixing the big toe joint, as you can see in these surgeries. You might even have to pin the toe with a wire if it's crossing over and there's more damage done than just the big toe. So here's the recovery in the biggest type of surgery. So if every one of your toes is deformed, you might need a cast, but usually in our practice, we don't really use casts. So we can skip the casting and not being able to walk. For most cases, the scar is not that bad. It's a very small incision. And within a few months, you barely know you had anything done at all. As you can see, this is about one week. There's a little bit of bruising, but the scar is already beginning to heal up. Depending on the procedure, if it is the bigger procedures, the more reconstructive, we prefer to keep you in a boot for about six weeks. You can still walk during the whole time. In a boot, it is tough to drive if it is your right foot, but there are certain ways around that uh, depending on your situation. If it's a smaller type bunion, you just need to wear a shoe like this for two weeks and then you're back into a supportive running shoe within almost 10 days. So this is what it can look like eventually. A very severe bunion, you can barely see the incision line and is very nicely corrected to get you back into a pair of shoes. These are what the dressings look like. You don't have to do the dressings yourself, but what happens is for most cases, two dressing changes, your sutures are out and you're back moving. Um, you can start taking showers again pretty quickly and you can start walking pretty quickly. So this is all that it looks like. First couple weeks, it looks like this. You can keep walking in protective shoes. You got to keep the area dry unfortunately and then within a few months it's completely healed up and ready to walk on and just remember wear something supportive keep them protected but within a few months almost all your swelling will be gone and you'll be back almost to 100 percent and by few months i mean up to even three four five and in some people six months for a really big surgery if this helped you at all, please visit our website where you can get even more information. And if this video did help, uh, give it a like and a share, and we'll see you soon. This is MichiganFootDoctors.com.